Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. We're going to be talking about this day in history. It is January 15th today, 350 days remaining in the calendar year. Let's find out what happened this day in history. Alright, so we're going to start in 1541. Uh, King Francis I of France gives Francois Raval a commission to settle a providence in Canada, now then called New France, and provide for the spread of the Holy Catholic faith. Elizabeth I is crowned Queen of England in Westminster Abbey in 1559. British Museum opens 200 years later in 1759. 1777, the American Revolutionary War, New Connecticut, modern-day Vermont, declares its independence. In 1782, Robert Morris, the superintendent of finance, goes before Congress to recommend the establishment of a national mint and coinage. In 1815, the American freight USS President is commanded by Commodore Stephen DeCour, is captured by a squadron of four British frigates. In 1818, a paper by David Webster is uh, read to the host, uh, to the Royal Society, uh, announcing his discovery for what is now called um, doubly reflecting crystals. There you go. In 1844, the University of Notre Dame receives a charter from the state of Indiana. In 1865, the American Civil War, Fort Fisher in North Carolina falls to the Union, thus cutting off a major seaport of the Confederacy. That was one way that they kind of beat the Confederacy up anyway, was taking their seaports and uh, pretty much jumping their, uh, their trade. All right, in 1867, 40 people died when ice covering the boating lake in Regent's Park, London, collapsed. In, seven, in, six, in 1870, a political, a political cartoon for the first time uh, shows the Democratic Party with a donkey. Uh, it was in Harper's Weekly, by the way. In 1889, the Coca-Cola Company is incorporated in Atlanta. In 1892, James Naismith publishes the Rules of Basketball. In 1910, construction ends on Buffalo Bill Dam in Wyoming, which was the largest dam in the world at the time. 1919, a wave of molasses released from an open, uh, exploding storage tank sweeps through Boston, killing 21 and injuring 150 people. The first building made uh, completely discovered covered in glass, built by the Owens Illinois Glass Company, is completed in Toledo, Ohio, in 1936. 1943, the uh, Pentagon is do- uh, the Pentagon is dedicated in Arlington, Virginia. In in 1947, the Black Delia murder, a dis- uh, dismembered corpse of Elizabeth Short, was found in Los Angeles. Different Elizabeth Short. Uh, in 1967, the first Super Bowl was played in Los Angeles, where the Packers beat the Chiefs 35-10. to It wasn't that as great of a game as the Minnesota game yesterday, where they beat the Saints in the last second. Uh, the Soviet Union launches Soyuz 5 in 1969. Muammar Gaddafi is be, uh, proclaimed Premier of Libya in 1970. Richard Nixon announced the suspension of action in North Vietnam. Uh, Sarah Jane Moore, who was uh, the President Gerald Ford's would-be assassin... Sentenced to life in prison. I believe Sarah Jane Moore was part of the um, I I guess I was wrong. I thought that she was one of the uh, people that were part of the um, Manson clan, but it was squeaky th- uh, from jo- uh, Pope John Paul II, 1981 receives a delegation from Solidarity at the Vatican and with a Polish trade union.
1991, the United Nations deadline for withdrawal of Iraqi forces from occupied Kuwait expires, preparing the way for the start of Operation Desert Storm. 1991, Elizabeth II, in her capacity as Queen of Australia, signs letter patent uh, allowing Australia to become the first Commonwealth realm to issue its own Victoria Cross in its own honor system. That's a very interesting, uh, interesting deal. In 2001, Wikipedia comes online. Thank God for Wikipedia sometimes. There you go. In uh, 2007, uh, two men, uh, one was the half-brother of Saddam Hussein, one was a former she- chief judge of the Revolutionary Court in Iraq, are executed by hanging. Uh, normally, we leave with a death, but instead we'll leave with some money issues. The Swiss National Bank abandons a cap on the franc uh, relative value to the euro, causing turmoil in financial markets. It's always something... Not that great that we end on. I don't understand why that is. Okay, so then we go to birth. So Henry Carey, the second Earl of Mountmouth, was born 1595. So that's awesome. Uh, I always look kind of look through this with you guys and talk while I do it. Uh, William Bickerton, who was the third president of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, I think. It says the Church of Jesus Christ. And let's see if that's Latter-day Saints. And it doesn't look like it is, actually. Now I'm wondering. Okay, more stuff for me to study. I like that. All right, um, let's see here. We're going to move further down the list. Find the oldest person still living. Ray Chapman uh, was born in 1891, not not living, uh, but uh, still, that's cool. And we are going further down the list here to find out that it is a woman, but, oh. All right, final, and we got it. It is Lee Tang Wu, who is the fourth president of the Republic of China. So happy birthday to you, sir. Uh, still with us, from, uh, born 1923. John O'Connor, actually, uh, born in 1920, was a cardinal. Um, so I always got a... Popes and cardinals, I, I like those guys. It is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday today. I probably should have said that, but... Um, that, that You know, it's a big day here, here, in, uh, here in America for all of our listeners across the seas. Eddie Graham, it's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Eddie Graham. Uh, Chief Beef or Captain Beefheart, a musician. Uh, happy birthday to you, Vince Foster. He was a political figure and lawyer and uh, really all around cool guy. Princess Michael of Kent, uh, Ronnie Von Zent, Von Zant, Andrea Martin. Hilarious, hilarious. Uh, happy birthday to Andrea Martin, Mario Van Peoples. Happy birthday to you. Uh, I know when I looked this up that I saw a lot of other people who, uh, it was their birthday. Delino De Shields, I haven't seen that name for a long time. Happy birthday to you, sir, and uh, thank you for all of the wonderful baseball memories that you gave me as a child. Uh, Shane McMahon, happy birthday to the one and only uh, Here Comes the Money Man, Shane McMahon. Regina King, happy birthday to Regina King, and that's awesome. It's also Ray King's birthday today. Uh, Ray King is great. And let's see. We'll uh, we'll end this by giving a happy birthday to Barbie Blank. Um, Barbie best known to all the wrestling fans is Kelly Kelly. Uh, and one last one I got here. Grace Vanderwall who won America's Got Talent. Happy birthday to you as well. Awesome, and a few deaths that we uh, always, we kind of always throw out a few of them here. Uh, I do have to uh, today, as uh, we are making this uh, this podcast, uh, say that uh, Dolores um, from the, the group Cran- the Cranberries uh, passed away today. Um, so uh, it it will be in this day in history next year. Of course, it happened. 
uh, today, and it's very, uh, very saddening um, for that to happen. Jimmy Snuka also died this day in history, 2017, uh, and uh, one of my favorite British actors, Roger Lloyd Pack. If you guys ever see The Vicar of Dibley, he was on there. He died this day in history as well. I'm kind of looking through the the rest of the list, um, but we at least uh, have three people who uh, had some. Uh, stuff go on that it was important in my life and in others, um, or else they wouldn't have a Wikipedia page, uh, and those are the ones that we're going to talk about. So, uh, musically, act, uh, acting, and then of course wrestling, uh, as we always talk about here on the show. So it is Martin Luther King Day here in the United States. Um, it's one of those days that uh, we remember um, who we are and. Uh, that we all have a dream, and uh, that's awesome. It's Arbor Day in Egypt. Uh, gr- um, it's Army Day in India. Armed Forces Day in Nigeria. Um, it is Korean Alphabet Day in uh, North Korea. Teachers Day in Venezuela. Um, and Ocean Duty Day in Indonesia. So there you go, folks. That is this day in history. Sorry for... For the people who like to li- listen to the show early, I'm sorry it came on a little late, um, but we got it, we got it to you guys, and we'll see you real soon here on the Scott Show podcast.